A Saanich family is speaking out tonight about an agonizing wait for surgery. Stories about the BC healthcare system and wait lists aren't new. But in this case, the patient isn't even old enough for preschool, and she spent a third of her young life in pain. A News reporter Shachi Curl joins us now with more. Shachi? Eric, it's also not unusual for adults to develop hernias. We hear about that all the time. But it turns out they're common in little kids too. So why has one Saanich toddler had to wait so long to make her pain go away? I put my nails on. It's tough enough trying to keep up with your siblings when you're just three years old. It's that much harder when you've got a hernia. Ruby Gittens is living with not one, but two bulging protrusions, and she spent 10 yeah, months waiting to feel better. Seeing your two-year-old say, you know, come out of the tub and say, you know, my hernia hurts, mama, and her physically pushing it back in, that's what's upsetting. Ruby's mother says it took four months just to see a surgeon who would operate on the little girl. At the time, that doctor told her the surgery would happen in a couple of months. And I, I really, truly did just take that at face value. But Ruby's surgery isn't scheduled until September 8th. That's fully six months after that first visit to the doctor and twice the amount of time Canadian surgeons themselves recommend a child should have to wait for the operation. The target is three months. That is, from the time that the decision is made that the child needs an operation to the time the operation is performed. Dr. Jeffrey Blair is past president of the Canadian Association of Pediatric Surgeons. He's participated in a study on Canadian pediatric surgical wait times. Blair says delaying can come with consequences. A portion of the intestine or perhaps a gonad, an ovary or a testicle, is actually uh, tied up in their hernia and its blood supply is compromised. So why has Ruby surgery taken so long? The Vancouver Island Health Authority says this is one decision it didn't make, pointing instead to the little girl's surgeon, who Viha says booked the operation date based on his assessment of her condition. No one could explain why nationally recommended weight standards aren't being met or why this region has been left with just one pediatric surgeon while the other one is on maternity leave. What is going on? Like, what is going on that the wait has been so long? It just doesn't seem... Logical. The opposition NDP says this is all the result of mismanagement and massive cuts to Viha's budget. This is a child uh, who has waited almost a third of her life to get a surgery and it speaks to uh, what I think is a crisis in, in wait lists. And for three-year-old Ruby, it represents at least three more weeks of discomfort and pain while she waits for her turn in BC's health care system. Now, Eric Ruby's mother, Tess Barlow, claims her daughter only got this surgery date in September because she pushed for it and because Ruby developed a second hernia during the wait for her treatment. Ruby's surgeon was not available for comment by airtime tonight. Eric. Shachi Curl reporting. Thank you, Shachi. You're welcome.